Alright, so I have a haul and a review. Not just a haul, so please bear with me. Um, it is nighttime, so this lighting, which is kind of weird, is blue because I'm trying to use my laptop as extra lighting, though I might not like how it works. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Whatever. Actually, that's kind of distracting now. We'll do that then. Anyway, so um, I have quite a large box to show you. It's, um, let's make sure this one's bent down so you can't see it. Mm, that's the wrong one. Anyway, um, I got a, I got a big order from, let's see if I can show you. So, uh, someone who prides themselves on their adoration of shoes and handbags should be over the moon with getting a box this big. And I would have, except of the issues. You know, what issues? Well, let me tell you. Uh, number one, we'll show you the bag. This is called, I believe, the Prime Time. And it's a pretty bag. It's smaller than I thought it would be, but it's still, you know, it's pretty. It's a really cool color. And it's kind of thick. It's a bit more, I don't know, rubbery than I thought it would feel like. But I mean, for this was on their uh, summer clearance sale, so it's fifteen dollars. So it wasn't too bad. But see that? Oh, it's like that. There's an extra pocket in there. The problem was when I opened it. Number one, the inside feels cheap, and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. But at the bottom here, and I'll try to fix this in like editing see if you can see it but deep inside there is a uh, black gunk like th whatever they use to make this piping material is at the bottom like a stain about that big and it's just dried down there just clear as day so it's not like they could have you know mistaken that and just so you know some people will say well uh, you only paid fifteen dollars for it, uh, wham type of thing. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, I've always been the kind of person that thinks you get the benefit of your dollar. If I paid for something that was broken, okay, then I should get something that's broken. But if I paid for something that is new and in perfect condition, I should get something that's new and in perfect condition. I don't care if I paid a penny or a hundred dollars. I should get the benefit of my dollar. Okay, okay. Let's move on. The next we have, which one is this? This is the Liz. Yes, I wear a size 11 in theirs. I'm a size 10 usually, but their shoes fit very narrow, very narrow. And this is one of them. This one actually had scuffs all up the side. Well, I guess you couldn't say scuffs because scuffs actually indent the material, but it had like these black and gray marks all the way up the side. Thankfully, I was able to take them off, but they still have these like, oh, the lighting sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, they have all these, like, as though they were, like, scratched up on, either by walking in them or something. And I'm like, well, that's weird if they're supposed to be new. Um, let's see. i got to figure out where to put these once they're done. This one, which side was it on? Was it on that one? There's a black mark that I couldn't get off. But now, of course, since I've had to deal with working on so many and this really piss poor lighting. Ah, there it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Well, I'll see if I can lighten that in editing. But, um, yeah. It might seem like nothing, but again, it's like, you know, it's, it's a mark. Why would I want shoes with marks on them, you know? boxes they vary in scuffiness which it's scuff whatever I could accept that just wait until you get in here you'll find out how bad it truly is okay then I got this box which is not the worst of them which should tell you something because this one is pretty pretty busted ignore the this like the paper sticking out is because I had to tear it open because they hadn't been checked and they were wrapped weird uh, there's dust all along the top there's dust all along, there's all this, like, ew, ew, my fingers are just gray. It's ridiculous. They shipped them out this way. That's how they wanted to ship up their product. Then I got these ones. Oh, sorry. These ones are called Lorette. 
And these were actually the ones that aren't so bad. Like, they do have marks. I don't know if you'll be able to see that one. Let's see if I can point it out with my nail. Here. And there's glue seepage here. And it's like there's bubbles along the heel, which I, I could kind of ignore the bubbles. Is this the shoe? Yeah. This is the one that had glue actually like coating underneath here. I peeled most of it off. Some of it's still coming off. Um, but it was like coated with glue around here. Thankfully that came off. So it's not too bad. Like I could try and repair them myself. There's a spot of glue there. So while repairable, you're just kind of like, you should say these are like your bottom of the barrel all messed up shoes because some people might not want that. There's glue all along the seam here and right here there's a black dot that won't come off. So, oh, and then there's that one there. And like I said, these have all been in the box ever since I got them, so it's not like they could have gotten damaged. While here, they've been all secured up and stuff. And I got this box. This one is actually the better of the boxes, not all messed up. This one's the Carly. Um, but inside, and this just breaks my heart because I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. And I'll explain my experience. Right there. You might think that's just glue. I tried to, you know, check if it's glue, if it'll wipe off. It's not the, um, this material, the white material is separating from this brown material and it's ripping already. And supposedly they're new, so that means that they are ripping as a brand new shoe. So that's wonderful. And then, I hadn't even, as soon as I saw that, I hadn't even checked the other one, so give me a second. Um, because that was just really frustrating as soon as I found out that. No, I mean, other than some loose threads along here and, and that, this this one shoe isn't too bad. Oh. And glue coming up the side there. The worst of the worst when it comes to boxes, oh my god, is this one. And it's not a matter of, I, you know, the shoes are ill-fitted or something, and I, that's why I can't close I can't close it because I can't close it. They packed and shipped my box this way. Do you see this? It's totally crushed in. I don't know if this will show, but it's like totally crushed in. Seams are bent. And then, on top of that, look at this box. Like, it, I don't know if it'll pick up. See that? That's completely grimy. And this part's all wiped off because I accidentally touched it with my arm, which is now covered in dirt. It's just grime and filth. And they shipped them this way. It's one thing if it got ruined because of, like, the outer box got messed up or squished. And that's all thanks to the post office or FedEx or UPS or whatever. They packaged these because this was at the bottom. So... The box on top would have to be damaged too, and to some extent, no damage on that box, to that extent. I mean, there were some scratches on the top and sides, but not crushed. The outer box would have to be crushed, because the bottom of this is all crushed and no damage. They packaged and shipped this filthy, crushed-in box without checking the items inside, whether they were able to be shipped, if they were ruined or not. And they're okay with that. They're okay that they did that. If you'll notice, I didn't even take them out of this. I I was so frustrated as soon as I saw that. And I had tried to get this remedied, which is another reason why I tried to leave them as is. Um, but as I will tell you in a moment, uh, it was unremediable. That's a word now. I've made it with a word bite me. Anyway, it's all rippled here. It'll be hard to show. I mean, this is a pretty shoe. I want it to be perfect. It's not. There's a weird bubble here. I don't know if that'll translate. But see, it's all bubbled. And then, let's see, look at this one. So you're kind of witnessing this firsthand as well, because I didn't open it past that, because that was really 
there's this big crease in here. I'm hoping that wearing them will reform them so they're not, it's not too bad. I really am. And then they, maybe it's just the way I'm looking. I hope it's just the way I'm looking at it, but someone else pointed out that the heel seems kind of askew, but I'm, I'm hoping it's just that the colors and things that make it seem slightly off because they're cute. I just... So all of the shoes were ten dollars each, and the bag was fifteen. Again, I just want the benefit of my dollar, you know. I just wanted new and proper shoes that weren't ruined. So I con, you know, I posted on their Facebook first, and um, their response was because I figured they're not going to do a replacement. They're that was their summer sale. They're not. They wash their hands of it. So I just posted my experience. Otherwise. They responded that I would be allowed to have an exchange. And so I asked, do you actually mean that I get an exchange like, of a different shoe? Because you don't have these anymore. They sold out before the sale was even over. And even if they hadn't sold out, they're not on your site anymore. But all of the things that I had wanted were sold out. So they, they said, sure, it's fine. We can process an exchange. Just, you know, email us. So I emailed them my order number and all that. And they said that, oh, well, they can exchange some of the items because they still have them. Which is odd because if you still have them, why did you delete them and say that they were sold out on your website for a week or so? That seems odd. So, but a bunch of the other items aren't still uh, available. And if I wanted replacements, I'd have to pay them $30 more. If I wanted to get proper, not broken shoes, maybe. I don't even know. I mean, if these were all ruined, who's to say the ones I were, you know, would have been sent as replacement wouldn't be all cracked and ruined and ripping and crushed in? Why would I take that risk if I'm then going to pay you $30 extra? Doesn't that seem kind of ridiculous? That's throwing good money after bad. That's really stupid. It's like, I know you just sold me this lemon car. Oh, well, uh, I didn't mean to sell you a lemon. Try this one. Why would I do that when I already know you're selling lemons? Seems kind of silly, especially since every single one of my items has something wrong with it. Even if it's minuscule, even if it's a tiny defect, just so happens that every single one has something wrong with it, ranging from, like, totally ripping to bubbling of the glue on them, marks on them, stains of fabric paint stuff, whatever you want to call it, that rubbery thing, inside a purse. Really. I'm going to trust you again. And even if I did want to trust you again, I'm not going to give you my money more. That doesn't, that's not a proper sentence. That's how upset I am. I waited 12 days for them to ship my stuff. 12 days. And then when they said they shipped it on the 12th day, <clears throat> Um, they were lying because they didn't ship it until the 13th day. They just sent a shipping notification even though they hadn't shipped it. Which is lovely. Um, yeah. I'm a little annoyed, can you tell? <laughs> uh, so, their thing says that they, they take 10 days max. They were over that 10 days then, but will they accept that? No. Um, well actually it says, originally it used to say 3 to 5. And then they upped it to 7 to 10. And then it took 11 days according to their time frame. They want to acknowledge only 11 days. Okay, that's still 11 days, not 10 days. So, people, come on now. So, let's see. I want to make sure, okay, yeah. And so when I responded and said, you know, I don't really think it's fair that I have to pay you guys more money for possibly getting more damaged items, um, you're the ones who said that I would be able to exchange these for items that you have currently. Uh, you didn't say that I'd have to pay you for it. And they said, oh, we're, we're sorry, but you're just going to have to. And I said, no. But they were, I gotta, I, I have to give them credit. They were ever, ever so kind as to say that they would not charge me a restocking fee. Isn't that sweet of them? They wouldn't charge me to restock their horribly used merchandise. I mean, horribly used is probably an exaggeration, but it's damaged. What are you doing restocking it anyway? You know? If it's damaged, 
There is no restocking. You're not going to charge me a garbage fee? What the? Oh, we won't charge you a restocking fee. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I was so excited. I guess that's part of it, too. I was really, I was excited for this. I actually have two pairs of Just Fab shoes. Actually, it's three pairs of boots from them. I forgot. And a pair of shoes. And I love my boots. I can't, the shoes aren't working for some reason. It's not that they were damaged. They just were, um, they're a little high. And so they caused me a bit of pain. But I love my boots. I adore the boots. And I figured, you know, they're, ch they're these are cheap heels. I can wear, you know, get some for a special occasion and I don't have to worry about the pain, you know, because it's just an hour or so. The other ones I had tried to wear for four hours and that was a mistake. So I've been kind of lenient, or wary of wearing them again. Um, but I was like, well, the boots are awesome. So the, I can, these are, the quality wasn't really that uh, much of an issue. But it turns out that it is. And I'm really disappointed because I want to like just fab. I really do. And that's, I cannot, I, I really give them a thumbs down and I would not recommend, unless they can fix this, which obviously they can't. According to them, they can't fix this. So I guess I wouldn't recommend them. They can't fix their problems. They have problems. They can't fix them. So you shouldn't order from them until they get their act together. And if they're not going to get their act together, they are without business. And they're actually, if you're, just to warn you, if you're uh, a Just Fab member, they're going to be, or they have merged with Shoe Dazzle. And if you went to Just Fab to avoid Shoe Dazzle, which is actually something I did, um, they're merging right now. It doesn't actually affect anything. Uh, so why they announced it yet, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they shouldn't really announce anything until it's actually going to matter, like things have changed, but they're not, um, yeah, blah, <laughs> they're, nothing's changed. But if, again, the point is that at some point it will, and if you, again, if you've avoided, if you went to Just Fab to avoid Shoe Dazzle, or if you're going to sign up for a Just Fab account because you don't like Shoe Dazzle, just be fair warned that just fab is bound to end up like shoe dazzle because if they weren't going to end up like each other why would they merge right they would just buy out shoe dazzle all hush hush uh, nix the name and just change it to just fab just take all the clients but they haven't so that's not what they're doing so yeah um if just fab wants to fix this issue that's more than welcome because that's the thing some people will think that um, they're angry forever and then just nix a company. If the company, like just with Chic Shoes, if they had fixed their errors, I would have gone back to them and shopped again. I, I'm always willing to give someone another chance. If they fix the problem, you know what I mean? If they make it right, then I'd shop with them again. Because why not? You you made amends kind of thing. You, you said, oh, my bad, here's, you know... Here's how we'll fix it. Um, having me pay you more, that isn't a solution. All right, thank you for watching and putting up with my oh so long rant. Um, I, I hope this was informative and helped you to form your opinion on the company, but do check out other reviews. I, I don't think I'm the only negative one that's had a bad experience. If you check out their Facebook, a lot of, ignore the ones, by the way, of the people who say, I didn't realize that it was a membership service. It's posted on the website. That's what they're known for. Anyway, but there have been other people with bad experiences. So, you know, there's always, with the good, there's the bad. So just look at all the reviews out there and form your own opinion based on the information available to you. All right. Alright, thanks again for watching, and I hope that you will stay tuned and watch more of my videos. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, that isn't, uh...